The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Come on, Amy, call it a night. No the protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. 
Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <sighs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That will activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack.
That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time? It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Oh, what? How? It's... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Horse. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on! The core. Hold on! We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? I gotta let you out. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> 